Place inverted plate close to the Bunsen burner to reduce chances of contamination. Turn on the Bunsen burner. Loosen the cap of the bottle containing the inoculum. Hold an inoculation loop in your right hand. Once the Bunsen burner is on a blue flame, take the inoculating loop and heat at the peak of the blue flame until the wire is white hot, then allow to cool while keeping it close to the Bunsen burner. Do not wave the loop around to cool quicker as it is increasing the chance of recontamination. Without putting the loop down, lift the test tube containing the inoculum with your left hand. Remove the cap of the bottle with the little finger of your right hand. Pass the neck of the bottle through the flame three or four times so it becomes sterile. Once the bottle is sterile, put the loop into the suspension without touching the sides of the bottle. Remove the loop and then reflame the neck of the bottle before closing the lid to sterilize. Partially lift the lid of the petri dish containing the sodium medium. Then with the loop containing the bacteria, rub a small circle immediately, gently, onto the agar at your first dot, 12 o'clock, to prevent the liquid from running down the agar. Flame the loop and cool it for 5 seconds. You can touch an unused part of the agar surface close to the edge of the plate to ensure the loop has cooled. Using the loop to streak the bacteria across the first quarter of the agar from the circle you just did in three to four lines going from 12 to 3 o'clock. Remove loop and close Petri dish. Flame loop again and repeat process of streaking onto the next quarter of the agar from 3 to 6 o'clock. Reflame the loop and repeat streaking from your 6 to 9 o'clock. Reflame the inoculation loop and in the last quarter of the agar you need to streak the bacterium in a zigzag formation towards the middle. Be careful not to streak the bacterium where you have previously streaked as it will not give the desired separation. The zigzag of the bacterium should not touch the sides of the petri dish. Reflame the loop and sterilize before putting away. Turn Bunsen burner flame back to safety and please leave the agar plates on the side to be collected for incubation.